Dan, back at your old club and back with a goal as well. You must be delighted with the 90 minutes overall. Yeah, obviously the most important thing today was to get the three points. Um, everyone knows that. I think the second half was probably a little bit scrappy. Uh, not how the manager wants us to play, but like I said, the most important thing is the three points and we got them, so, so a good weekend. In terms of the way that the team was set up, it was very similar to the last few games, but Joe Chalmers made his debut in there. How did he fit in alongside yourself and Graham Dorn? Yeah, I think he just slotted in, obviously, with uh, with Dozer in there. I think it makes, makes my job easier, it makes the whole team's uh, job easier, because everyone knows how good he is. Um, but Joe slotted in really well, thought he'd done really well, kept the ball, uh, won his headers, won his tackles, and yeah, overall done really well. How did you feel we played in that first half? Was that some of the best football you think we've played all season? Uh, first half I thought we were very comfortable. Uh, they had limited opportunities, a few corners, that was it. Um, I think on another day, probably would have been four or five today, we got to the byline a lot of times and cut it back, but it was just that final final end ball, final shot, probably let us down, but overall a 2-0 uh, good performance, yeah. The first goal in this league is always crucial, but to get a second before half-time through yourself gave us that bit of a cushion. Talk us through the goal. Yeah, obviously, well, Dodd scored a great header and then it came to us and I'm normally on the edge of the box, so I just stepped in, hit it. I think it took about four deflections, but it was going in, so I'll take it. Um, but yeah, like I said, the main thing is we won. And in the second half, it's always difficult to 2-0. You could always, you know, get into a position where you maybe drop deeper because you don't want to concede a goal and, and things turn out a bit ugly but I thought we really controlled the game in the second half as well. Yeah, obviously we knew they were going to come out and start fast the second half, the 2-0 the down at the end of the day at home. Um, we just had to manage that first 10-15 minutes and then try and build into the game. I think on the counter-attack we had three or four really good chances which, it, like I said on another day, would have been in the back of the net through some more clinical finishing. Um, but yeah, I thought we managed the second half well. It was a scrappy second half. It probably wasn't the best to watch, but when you're 2-0 up and you win the game 2-0, it doesn't really matter. How crucial do you feel that clean sheet was today for the, the psychological confidence of, of yourself and your teammates? Of course, we've been on a, a good run over the last three or four yeah. games, but that clean sheet must, must give an extra added boost as well. Yeah, I mean, the manager said that after the Morton game in the change room, uh, that we, won't, well, we don't want to lose another game from now at the end of the season. And he's reiterated that every single game. Um, I think all the lads are really buying into it and really you can see people fighting, you can see people st were sticking together a lot better when things are going against us, like last week against Inverness that first half wasn't good enough but we come out second half and we're much better, um, so I think there's a real good team spirit at the minute and uh, like I said obviously another clean sheet and I don't think Fon has had much to do today either, um, so yeah it's, it's vital to keep, uh, keep getting clean sheets and keep moving forward. Our win today helps us rise up the table, so positive steps going forward, but need to keep that momentum going against there yeah, next weekend. Definitely, that's only one game, there's still uh, 13 left I believe, so on to the next one, we can't get too carried away and we need to go next week away to air and we need to go beat them. Uh, that's the main thing now, so everyone will be back in next week and that'll be the focus, working towards air. A big support this afternoon and difficult conditions travelling down from Fife as well yeah. and you'll be hoping for similar numbers if not more next weekend. Yeah definitely obviously it's a long trip down from uh, from Fife from Dunfermline so you appreciate the sports coming down and they made great noise today so hopefully we uh, we done them done them proud in a way and uh, take the three points up the road so I hope they enjoy the weekend.